In this video, we're going to continue on with some of the syntax changes in HTML5. Now, one big source of confusion is the line break element, which of course gives us a line break. Now, in XHTML, you were forced to close your line break element. You had to put this slash here. And that didn't make a lot of sense because the line break element only has one tag. It doesn't have an opening and closing tag. So why on earth do you need this slash? You really don't need it. So in HTML5, all you need is BR. You don't have to put any slashes. Now this old format will continue to work. So you can go ahead and do it that way if that's the way you're accustomed to using your line breaks. It will also even support a slash in front of the BR. So that will work as well. And I think you can even get rid of the space here. So there's like four different flavors of this and they will all work in HTML5. So it's really how you want to do it. But again, all four of those flavors are actually supported. But they also now allow you to use the line break without any slashes. And that's actually probably the preferred way going forward. Now, also, they have eliminated the requirement to have your tags in lowercase. So you can put your tags now in uppercase if you want. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. You can make this uppercase if you want, no problem. And it will still continue to work. You can even mix and match it. So we could make this closing paragraph tag uppercase and it will all work. So that's another change that was made. And I commented this out, but I also wanted to show you that there was a change to the source attribute. You no longer need quotes. So if you don't want quotes, you don't have to put them around your source attribute. I recommend that you don't do that. That's why I actually have this commented out. I recommend you actually keep the quotes, but I just wanted to give you an example of this to show you how this works. So let's make sure all these line breaks work. We should have three line breaks, right? And if one of them doesn't, we will only have two or three lines, right? So we should get four different lines if all three of these are working. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll run this in Chrome. And there you can see, it all works. We have four lines. So all three of those different types of line breaks work. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we will move on to the new semantic elements in HTML5. See you then.